All right, guys, so here's the review for the Airwave device. Uh, I have to say thank you, first of all, to Grant for the birthday gift. I'm always interested in trying new things and new products, especially if it could potentially help uh, my exercise and fitness with CrossFit. When I opened the box, it comes in a tiny little red box, and uh, you just have this mouth guard. And if you've ever worn a mouth guard for football or hockey or whatever, um, it's pretty much the same. However, it is different because it fits on your bottom teeth. So it doesn't go up top, it actually goes down below. I'll actually kind of show you how it sits in there and uh, kind of lines in right inside the front teeth. And then the goal is that you tuck your tongue underneath that red bar while, you, while you're working out or while you're training. And then they actually want you to bite down on the mouthpiece itself and you hook your tongue underneath that red bar and breathe through your mouth, which took me a little bit to get used to. Uh, like I said, if you've ever worn a mouth guard for, for any other activity, um, this probably won't bother you too much. But if you're not used to wearing a mouth guard or haven't worn a mouth guard in the past, it can definitely, uh, I could see how it might be a little bit annoying, you know, because spit and saliva pool in the bottom of your mouth and it's a little bit hard to swallow while you're wearing it, but um, I feel like I adjusted pretty quickly because I spent so many years of my life playing football and wearing mouth guards uh, that really the only thing was just trying to get used to it actually being on the bottom teeth. So pretty straightforward. You put it in your mouth. Um, there's a couple easy steps that you follow in the box of how to mold it. Essentially, you put it in the microwave for I think it's like two minutes. You cover it in a wet, damp paper towel and you line the inside of the mouth guard with the wet paper towel. When you take it out of the microwave, you put it in some cold water and uh, let it sit in there for about five seconds and then you put it in your mouth. And while it's in your mouth, you're biting down, squeezing and pinching in from the sides and pushing against the mouth guard while it's getting into your teeth. And it forms pretty easy. Two weeks of testing the product, have I noticed any significant difference in my workouts? The honest answer would, would be no. However, there are a couple caveats to that. Uh, number one, I feel like I'm pretty competent and proficient with walking around on my hands. And I've done two handstand walking workouts since having the airwave. And I don't know if it was a fluke or if it was the airwave, but I felt it felt like I was much more in control when walking on my hands. I never really felt like I was going to topple over or fall down. And then last night I did my first like really intensive double under workout while wearing it. And we had essentially three rounds of a workout and each of the three rounds we had a hundred double unders. So 300 double unders in a workout. And uh, I feel like I'm usually pretty proficient with double unders as well. But in the three rounds of 100, I only messed up once. So I was able to link all those reps together and I hadn't even messed up, I think it was on my third round. I still got to like 70 some double unders before I messed up. So I think there really is something to say for like the alignment that they claim uh, can receive some benefits from wearing it. I'm definitely gonna continue to wear it and continue to test it. Um, you know, if I had been thinking about it, I probably would have done some maybe like objective tests where like, okay, let's do a, let's do a 750 meter row and see how you feel afterwards. Look at the pace, the wattage and strokes, and then do a 750 meter row or something like that uh, afterwards and kind of compare the data. I haven't done that yet. Um, but I have, I would say that I've gotten used to wearing it. Um, if you're the type of person that struggles with high skill movements, handstand walks, double unders, ring muscle ups. I can, I can confidently say that it, it definitely feels better um, when I'm wearing the device. What I, was, what I was hoping would happen is that, you know, I would just feel like I'd have all this extra oxygen flowing through my veins and it would make things like, you know, echo bike and that kind of thing just easier and more bearable. And I can't really say that I'd noticed that. However, Again, if I was really testing things, I would probably look at like average wattage on a ski or a rower on a bike and you know, do it with it and do it without and then compare that objective data. But if you're interested in try it, uh, I would definitely say give it a shot. Um, see how it goes, test it out, see if you like it. Give it, a, give it a solid two weeks, try it with different movements, high skilled movements, try, try it with 
grunt work movements like sled pulls and assault bike sprints and just, just see if it feels better. And if it does, man, you can kind of latch onto something, latch onto this new device and, and maybe reap, reap some benefits and rewards from it. So I definitely enjoy it. I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, I, I might do some more objective testing in the future and kind of actually see if I am improving like my aerobic capacity and stuff. But uh, I'm definitely not gonna put it away. I'm gonna definitely keep it in my gym bag and I'm gonna try to use it every day. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight for somebody who's been using it for about two weeks now. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.